Hey everybody, today Pilgrim just got a massive update. You'll see a portal in the prairie which leads to these other six portals. Each one has a unique boss and to go to the next one you need to kill the boss. If you want to do this without wasting a ton of time I recommend you use the speed demon build because there's so much walking involved. The first boss you have to kill is the shinobi king, I was quite confused on how to kill him. Then I realised that he was taking damage on his own. So all you really have to do to beat him is to run around and wait for him to die. Pretty easy boss, and the hardest is to come. The second boss, if you could even call it that, is this laughable boss called Mr. Token. You can kill him pretty much in two hits, which is a big contradiction to his massive metallic frame. You'd think he'd have like a thousand HP. The developers throw some not so subtle jabs at capitalism. Though to be fair, if any game can do that, it's pilgrimed because they haven't been taking any money from us. The next boss is a shark, a literal shark, which is called a loan shark, funnily enough. And he's also accompanied by his uh, billionaire friend. These guys are pretty light work and the real challenge is still ahead of you. I don't know why he's called the stone collector, but it's probably some appropriate pun that I'm too stupid to understand. This next boss, the Crude Knight Resnor, is without a doubt the hardest boss that you'll face in this series. He has 3000 HP and the moveset of a Thief King, but he has way more damage. And the place that you need to go to get to him is so long that if you don't use the Speed Demon build, it's going to take you at least 10 minutes. If you get his attack pattern down though, you can beat him. Pretty much like all bosses in the game. At half health, you'll get this transformation where he starts throwing fiery orbs at you, and he does a lot more damage as well. You just need to dodge the orbs and parry the basic attacks to heal and you'll be fine. This is without a doubt the hardest boss, so if there's any place to give up, this is it. The next boss is this weird magic man on a ball. While he is quite intimidating, he actually has a massive hitbox so you can just jump up and hit him. And you'll be able to damage him quite easily. When I fought him, he just rolled off the map, so I was able to get the kill credit just like that. And the final boss, the golden knight, is an enigma of some sorts. I don't even know how you're meant to reach him normally because I struggle to get up there and I have the speed demon build, so I decided to just shoot at him instead. You'd think a guy as massive and beefy as him with 3000 health would be able to take some full damage, but take some full damage he did not, as right after I shot him he fell down and died instantly. So those are all the main bosses that I can find. I'm still missing three entries on the bestiary, but I have no clue where those are. One little additional thing that they added is that if you kill N, you get a party hat. Unfortunately and expectedly it's just a cosmetic, but it's still pretty cool. I do still prefer the design of the nightcap though. So yeah, that's the April Fool's update. It's a lot of content for something that you'd think would just be a joke or a bit of a gag. So that does make me a bit hopeful for the actual content updates.